Welcome back to Everyone with Toys You Play. This is Aiden here. Today, I have the Edu Science Microscope and the Edu Science Telescope and Microscope scope Smart Device Adapter. So you put your phone on the suction cup and you can see what I'm seeing. So first, we're gonna open up this and get the slides ready. And then, I'm gonna put the phone up here so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So, it goes with the 640X. Wow, that's a lot. So let's go get this cool thing open. So let's see here. I think there's some tape up here. Let's see, yep, there is some tape up there. So we're just gonna cut do the tape here. Alright. Okay, found the box here. Alright. Now we can lift this cool thing up. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's oh we have a toys. We have a manual. So this is we look at the manual. The microscope here. Mm hmm Got oh okay. So we need two um double A batteries. And they're not included. So when you buy this, get your two double A batteries. So now oh uh oh slide, case of slide, ship hatchery slicer and instructions pack below. Okay. So we're just gonna carefully get this thing open. Oh man, this thing looks nice. Look at that. Oh wow, okay, our slides are right here. These are, okay, these slides we have, let's see, one prepared slide, one prepared slide, you got eight of them, in labels and colors. All right, so these are where we keep the slides. And there's a couple prepared ones, and what do we have here? Ooh, we have, what is this? This is the, oh, this is the shrimp hatchery. So I'll show you this, here. With the shrimp hatchery and I think this opens up right okay it does so this is like where you hatch your wonderful shrimp I guess like they had to make it like this so you can divide your shrimp evenly that's cool so I guess you get to make your own you get your shrimp eggs all right so these are oh wait slide covers yes these are our slide covers so if you want to know how to make your own slides I'll tell you because it's very simple so these are your slide covers, slide, slides and covers, okay. There it is, and I, yeah, it opens up. These are very clear, so don't drop these. These are plastic and they can hurt you. So I'll open it up for you though. Oh, these stick like stuck together. Oh, it's tape, that's right, duh. Okay, right here. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, so this, is your label on the slide. So let's say I was looking at a leaf. I can label it leaf from which plant. So how many you got here? Two, four, six, eight. You got eight of them. That's perfect. We got eight slides. That's extremely perfect. Oh, these are the slide things that are like plastic. So don't drop these. They're pretty clear. All right, so now fold this back up in. Back in where container went and we'll close this. Ugh! Oh, so mite in here because it's like a very small box. Alright, aside. Now we can make sure there's nothing. Okay, there's nothing else. The box, the box can go down here. Now we actually have the actual microscope. So it's on a zip tie. So zip ties up there. I'm just gonna just cut that up. Oh, okay. So we can carefully take off our wonderful microscope. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's knotted. I don't know if you can just cut that like that, and then we can go ahead and cut this like this. That all the garbage over in the box. All right, so let's go pull out the tools, and then we'll take a look at the microscope. So let's see. Oh, it's on all this plastic tray. Look at here. We're just gonna pull this out. So what is going on here? So this is um. Oh, okay. So the first tool we got is the tweezers. So it's very cool, the tweezers. Now we got the, oh, okay, we'll just go through this one. So this is yeast. Now, reason why they give you yeast, a brine shrimp eat yeast. So, yeah, because that's a brine shrimp actually, which is nice. So what do we got here? Hmm. Specimen vial. Very, very cool. Go to the seat. Okay, this is another specimen vial. We already seen the same one. What do we got here? 
Okay, we got a graduated cylinder. And this one goes to like 10 milliliters. Open it up. Ugh. Yeah, it's just same type of cover too. And it's made of plastic. Now we got the pipette. Whoa, okay, this is a big pipette. <laughs> Look at this thing. So this is the pipette. You know, these are the ones that you, if you suck up the water, then you can like drop it in. You're one of your specimen vials. All right. So those are our tools we got here. And this one is like, is like a, okay, just showing you where it's from. All right, so we'll get the microscope open. Now this is gonna be so cool. Cause I can't wait. Actually, you guys can see what I'm seeing. That is awesome. I can't wait to do that. Oh, here it is. So, so we have here is this is for your eye. Cause if you put your eye on it, it like out. So the thing is, you can make it out like that, and you can see further in. So let's see how this can work here. You can't see nothing yet, cause you need to put the badges in to make the light on. So. You twist on um, this thing right here. So like, this is the smallest. Look what, you can go from red. So, so I think the smallest is red. Okay, red, uh, so let's put on the red. That is four times. And you put it on the medium size, which is uh, yellow, 10 times, okay? You put it in 40, you get 40X, so times. So you can adjust this the cool way, cause I like my microscope to be not too zoomed in because it gets very blurry. So you do it like that, you can adjust the tray, very cool. So I like my microscope to be kind of downward a bit because it can make it easier for you to see. But sometimes if you go too down, it can make it very blurry. So to fix that, while you're looking, you twist this at the same time. All right then. All right, so let's see. So the on switch is right here. That supposedly turns on the light, but right now we have uh, no batteries in here. But we'll do that in one minute. Now we're gonna so show you the slides. And these are very cool. Put the microscope out of the side so you guys can see the cool part here. All right. Oh my goodness, I kinda hurt my hand. So what is this one? Onion bulb epidermis, okay? The onion bulb epidermis. Now I'm, okay, you only get one preferred slide. So I'm not really familiar with the onion bulb epidermis. I guess epiderm uh, epidermis means like your, this part of your skin. But I guess it's onion skin, which I had a project in school that you need to look at onion skin and wow, this is perfect. Thank you, Eddie Science. So then watch. Now, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own slide, which is very simple. Get your slide, right? And you label it here or here, whatever you want. So you could put anything you want in it. Like, let's say, let's give an example. I wanted to look at a very cool leaf, um, let's see. A papaya leaf, there we go. So I wanted to break the small pieces of papaya leaf, like probably like as big as this. Like it doesn't even have to be too big. But you get, of course you need it smaller because that's how the microscope works. So all you gotta do is you get it in and you take one of these um, labels and you label it. Well, you don't have to do it, it it's optional. You can name it like any, and like you, if you get a leaf, you can put anything on here, like I said. So you can label it uh, my papaya leaf. So you have the sticky, so they're not reusable. So once you pull them on, you can't pull them back then. Now you have the circle slide cover. So these are very, you know, you don't want your toddler to choke on this thinking it's like candy. So I would want to keep this away from a toddler or baby because I can choke on it. So all you do, you get it. You can get some water, dump it in like a this little tiny drop of your pipette, push it on and also, if you want to do, hey, hey, I want to do uh, whatever. I want to test out my pond water, my backyard. I want to see what type of bacteria is in that water. You get a pipette or you graduate a cylinder. Get a small drop of that. You only need one drop. So you don't have to get buckets just to do this. You only need one drop. So you drop it on, put the cover on. That's it. That's basically it. So the thing is, the reason why they give you labels and not one, they're, what is this leaf again? I'm looking for the papaya leaf. So just to make sure that. So let's say I want to get a bug. You can get the bug and you dump it in a specimen vial, which is very cool. So right now we're gonna unbox the the telescope and microscope smart device adapter. So we'll move this out of the way. But first, of course, I'm gonna have to put this away because I don't wanna drop any of the slide covers or lose the stickers. This is, this is probably, uh-oh, see, I told, yeah, I told you how dangerous this may be. Like, I almost just dropped the whole thing. Put it back in. 
All right, and get it in the box. Always have trouble with this one. Every video when I have one. Well, we'll put that aside. Cover the slide up again. It's, you know, they have little slopes here, so don't worry, guys. You just put the slide in. Uh oh, I put that too far. So, I don't know how many slides you can fit in here. They give you eight, one prepared. So, probably about, let's see, they give you eight. So, yeah, that's, yeah I think you can fit like 12 of them in here. All right, move everything out of the way. Be careful with the yeast, not to spill it everywhere. So let's go get this thing open, and we'll attach it in a microscope. So let's see. So the box up here. Oh, wait, I didn't have to cut to anything. You just open it up like that. All right, so here it is. Oh, it's in a nice little bag. Okay, there's instruction manuals. Okay, this is it. This is what's in the box. So make sure there's nothing else in. Okay, it's in the box. Here it is, all the parts. So I have a times, I think I have, I think it said I had a times two thing in here. So yeah, dump it all in the careful, very carefully though, cause I don't want to make sure there's no broken stuff in here. Okay. All right, so yeah, this is gonna be fun guys. I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna see. All right, so this is for the telescope. Okay, so I don't know why, is this for the telescope? Yeah, that is, oh. Oops, I'm not supposed to open that one. What is this? Make sure this is not telescope. What is this? Is this more telescope? I don't know. We'll put that aside. But what we're looking for, what is this seriously? More telescope. Okay, I'm just looking at instructions here. So, what is... Oh, the instruction manual's right here. Okay, so this is what we have here. Mm, okay, I get it. So, it's a suction cup thing. Okay, so I get it now. So... These are for the telescope, so, yeah. But open this up, like, you know, like a, like so, just cut it up. And this is where you guys get to see. So here it is, it's suction cups, which, very cool. So all you gotta do, get your microscope, and I think this can come off, right? Yeah, this can come off. This is like, you don't really need that up there. But you get this on, like that, and the reason why they give you that there. Oh, okay, so now, once I have this on, there should be like a, so how do they put it in the box? Okay, so they put it on like right here. So let me get this thing off. They just put it on. This is a different microscope. They're using a different one, but, oh yeah, I have the same one. All right. So you put it like this and you just screw it in to make it even. So there we go. That's basically I put it on. So then I put the phone on the suction cups and the camera can go right here. So I can show you what I got. All right, so we're gonna have a cut scene right here to put the batteries in and make the lights on and I'll prepare the slide for you guys. So let's have the cut. So let me just recap this again. I'm gonna show you how to put it on. First step, you get um, this small one. So first off, you get th this and you just attach it in here like that. And you wanna hold it in. Oh, but you can do it either way. You can screw it on, but I rather prefer to put it on on first. So you screw it on, make sure it's a tight fit or else your video is going to be like whoa <laughs> like very wobbly so then you get this on oh wait ah then follow the instructions so you put this on first and then you use this as like your screwdriver put it on i mean you have to do that first exactly all right get it on now just like that now you want you want to hold it here and make sure this is level with this or else you're not really going to work with it so you screw it on yeah make it very tight like extreme tight then you look inside and you can see it so i'm also going to show you how to put the slide in so you get the slide first we got to turn it on of course get the light on make sure the light's on okay so you get the slide you see these two metal things over here you can move them any way you want but just make sure i kept them straight so you get this push it in very carefully not to put the metal on the slide on the, this part right here because it may break it so then you look then you look and then you can see it but well, there's one problem with this toy i cannot really see the onion well i tried it i can see pink like you can see in the boy in the picture you look like he can see with the phone adapter he can see like the whole like everything but the problem is i wanted to show you guys the large one but it didn't work and i couldn't focus the phone on the small one the reason why is 
I read about it. It's just a large microscope instead of adapter. And that means that this one is a small microscope. Because I put it on, I tried to screw it, it didn't work. So that brings me and tells me that if you want this to work, you're going to need the large microscope. So the rating, and also I couldn't focus it on here. So the rating of the toy. This is polyinate because you can't really see what the boy's seeing because he has the large microscope. This can probably work on bugs or small things, not really on onion skin. Well, like something very small. So, yeah, this is an 8. And I'll rate this um, probably an 8 as well. Because it didn't work as well. Because I was really hoping, like, I can see it. But, you know what? That was just too bad. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. Or you can leave a um, like, like us. And comment down below. Feel in what you thought about the review. And tell me if it worked for you with your large microscope. If it worked very well. If it did not work well. So, subscribe. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.